So in our session today, we're going to focus on the concept of creating a sense of ease. And when we talk about being in the present moment, being aware, being connected with our body and our breath, sometimes the tension can take us out of the moment because we're so focused on the tension, we're not paying attention to our bodies or our breath. So what I would invite you to do is if you are one of those folks that likes to do everything at 100%, maybe to back off your practice a little bit this morning, stopping maybe at 75 or 80% of your max, just to experience what that is like. And I always remind people that the easiest way to tell when you've gone beyond your limit, and this is predates even sensation of discomfort or pain when your breath becomes irregular, when it's difficult to find and maintain a complete breath, then you know it's time to back away. So use the breath as a barometer to judge the intensity of your practice. And so we'll begin. So taking your seat, allowing your shoulders to relax, feeling your feet on the floor, and finding in the very beginning that sense of balance between engaging the muscles and creating a sense of ease so that there's space for the breath. Allowing your eyes to close or looking down towards the floor. Take a minute to just scan your body for any areas that might be holding on to a little extra tension or tightness or discomfort. And begin to send your breath directly to those spots. Letting the breath expand so that it begins in the belly and moves up through the chest to the shoulders. And then exhaling, pouring the exhale, shoulders, chest, and belly. I like to think of the breath as a wave coming in and going out. always becoming aware of the busyness of your thoughts and how those thoughts might be distracting you from present moment awareness. Let's take three more complete breaths here. Take in another deep breath and let it go with a sigh. Ha. Ah. Feel your shoulders relax. Let's do that again. Deep breath in, release it with a sigh. Ha. Bringing your hands to prayer position in front of your heart. Let's join our voices in the sound of Om. Deep breath. Om. Om Shanti. Peace. So as you inhale now, allow your chin to lift, head looks up, and exhale, dropping the chin towards the chest. So even though you're focusing on lifting and lowering your head, letting your spine stay straight, feeling your whole body as you move and breathe. One more time, looking up 
And exhale, dropping the chin to the chest. Guiding your head back to center. We'll go from side to side now. So turning your head to the right, draw in a breath. And then as you exhale, allow your head to scan the horizon to the left side. Breathe in and exhale to the right. So working with the breath, noticing if you're trying too hard, try a little easier as you go from side to side. Let's do that once more from side to side. To the right. And exhale to the left. Bring your head back to center and then allow your left ear to fall towards your left shoulder. Now make sure the left shoulder stays down and doesn't come up. You wanna keep that shoulder down. Good. So you can release the opposite hand, letting it fall towards the floor. And gently, if you like, rock your head forward and back. So just exploring any tension that's hanging around the neck and the shoulders. Good, return your head to center, take in your breath, and then let the right ear and the right shoulder fall towards each other. I'm gonna release my left hand down towards the floor. And you can add that forward and back gentle rocking movement if you like. What was that choice of options? Good, and then guide it back to center. Good. We'll sweep the arms up, reach up to the sky, relax your shoulders, press your feet into the floor and find that breath. How can you create a sense of ease in seated mountain pose? Maybe you need to separate your arms a little further, whatever works. So I'm going to lower my right hand now and begin to sweep the left from side to side. So see how much of a full range of motion you can get with this sweep. As you reach across, make sure both sit bones are still on the chair. That puts the stretch right in the right spot. So let's reach across and pause, reach a little further, draw that top shoulder back. And now I'm gonna start making some big circles with that left arm. Nice and easy. Following my fingers with my gaze. Just circling. And then pause and let that circle go in the other direction. Big lazy circles. Good, reach up one more time with both arms in seated mountain. And I'm gonna drop my left arm so I can sweep the right. Exhaling as you come across, inhaling as the arm drops down. Find that breath. The breath is your guide to your limits and possibilities. So this time as you reach across, let's pause, reach a little further, draw that top shoulder back,
And how about some circles with this arm? Probably gonna feel a little different than the first side. As we know, we are not the same on both sides. Let's do one more in this direction. And then switch it up, go the other way. And I'm following my fingers with my gaze. Give me a little extra stretch in the neck. Good, reach up with the opposite hand. Come into mountain one more time and breathe. So let's lower the arms in front of us and interlace the fingers and turn the palms out. Good, press them away and draw them in. Press those palms away. You're rounding your spine a little bit as you do this. Bring it in, exhale, push it away. Bring it in and push it away. So you're sitting up tall as you bring the hands in and rounding the spine as you push the palms away. Let's do that once more. Press it away and bring it in. So sitting up tall now, we're just gonna go from side to side. So let's rotate to the right. Bring it in and to the left and bring it in. Twisting right and left. Elbows out to the side. Hey, sweet pea. And I'm just looking for a comfortable place to take a nap. Good. And release. And let's just jiggle the shoulders a little bit. So with your feet flat on the floor and your back away from the back of the chair, let's circle on the hips. So we're shifting our weight from sit bone to sit bone, letting the upper body be soft. You don't have to go very far with your circles, but you can if you want. Good, let's pause and switch it up. Go the other way. Nice, big circles. One more circle. And then bring it up to center. So we're gonna do our seated cobra now. So you're going to reach back, take a hold of the back of your chair, take a breath in and draw the chest forward. Allow the head to look up. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Good, and relax. We're gonna do that twice more. Breathe in and stretch, reach that chest forward. And relax. And last time, breathe in, chest comes forward. Keep breathing. Squeezing the shoulders and release, let it go. Release your hands. Just take a minute to notice how that feels. Great. We'll move into thread the needle. We're gonna start with the right side. So slide that arm along your left thigh and ease yourself forward. You don't have to come very far. Remember that's up to you and your body. I'm gonna add an arm sweep with the right arm. And if it just comes out to the side, that's fine too. Head is relaxed. And where is your breath? Good, let's inhale and release that. Getting ready for the other side. Left arm slides along the right thigh easing yourself forward a little bit at a time. Adding the arm sweep if you like. Ah, head is relaxed, give it a shake. <clears throat> Good. 
Good. And then inhale, bring it back and just take a breath. Let's go for a little walk. Just pretend there are leaves crunching under your feet as you walk. Add the arms. Just walking along. So the other option is to bring the opposite elbow across the body to the knee. Here we go. You're blowing out the breath each time you lift that knee. If they don't connect, if they only come up part way, it's also fine. So the next time that right knee begins to lift, let's invite it up a little further. Using your tie behind the thigh or just holding on, I'm going to bring my fingertips below the knee. Good. Sit up nice and tall. Circle the foot. Good. Let's go the other way. Good. So holding on to the knee with your right hand, let's just draw that knee out to the side and bring it back. Draw it out and bring it back. And once more, draw it out to the side. Good. So when you bring the knee back, we're going to rock the hip. So I'm gonna hold on with my hand on the foot, the other hand on the knee. If this doesn't work for you, this is a great place to use your yoga tie. You can just lasso that foot and begin to rock. Very gently. Steady breath. Ready for the figure four stretch? Here we go. So crossing at the ankle, at the knee, or letting the foot rest on top of the thigh. Sit up tall. So I'm going to press downward on my knee and up on the foot. And I'm going to add a forward bend. Again, your choice if you do this. Another good way to relieve tension is to let the breath go with a sound. So let's try that. Deep breath in. And then sigh it out. Ha. <sighs> Good, feel your body relax. Anytime you feel tension building up, you can always do that. Let's release now as we breathe in, coming up and uncrossing whatever is crossed and pause for just a couple of breaths. So we need to walk a little further so we can do the other side. Gonna add my arms. And again, the optional move is to bring the knee towards the opposite elbow. Here we go. Blow out that breath, make a sound. Ready to do the other side. Here we go. Left knee comes up using your tie or your hands to hold on wherever is comfortable for you. Relax those shoulders and circle the foot. One way, other way. So I'm gonna take my left hand, place it on the knee and then draw the knee out to the side. Bring it back and exhale, open that gate. Good, bring it in and out. Once more. Good, so let's rock that hip now. So using your yoga tie around your foot or just holding on Let's rock the knee. 
Nice steady breath. Let's move into the figure four stretch on this side. So crossing wherever is comfortable for you. You also wanna make sure that the foot that's on the floor is directly under the knee, not off to the side in either direction. So that encourages you to sit up nice and tall. Adding those little optional moves. Letting your shoulder blades slide away from each other. Good, and inhale. So we're gonna do our sun salutation and our moon salutation. We'll do it seated and then we'll repeat it standing. So if standing is not something that you wanna to do today, you can repeat the moves in a seated position. Let's begin with the sun salutation. Hands to prayer, pressing those palms together. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, reach back. Breathing back to mountain. Now the arms are going to open as you fold forward. Good. Bring your hands to your knees. Come up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms sweep back up. And let's reach it back. Take the breath in and let it go to your heart. Let's do that again. Breath in. Reach it back, lengthening. Breathe back through center and now exhale as you fold. Palms to the knees coming up halfway. Exhale and fold. Reverse swan dive, breath in. Draw your arms up. Exhale, reach back. Breath comes in and we exhale back to the heart. And let's pause and breathe. So we'll do the moon salutation now. Arms come up and I'm gonna interlace my fingers and point my index fingers up towards the ceiling. So remember if your shoulders are tight, you have the option of just separating your arms a little bit. Good, breathe in and let's half moon to the right. Draw that breath in and then exhale to the other side. Back through center, ready for the back bend. Arms can stay where they are or you can change your hand position to give your back a little bit more support, reach back. Come back through mountain, forward fold, arms stay extended as you reach forward. Come all the way down, give your head a shake, let it go. Good, re-engage those arms. And jump. And half moon to the left. Breathe it through center. Half moon to the right. And back through center. And coming to rest at your heart. Hi, Suki. How are you? Good. Let's come up to standing. So we're going to repeat those um, standing and know that you can just go back to doing them in the seated variety if you would like. Uh, to do the sun salutation, you can always keep one hand on the chair as you do 
the moves if that's more comfortable for you. Hands and heart center, feet flat on the floor, uncurl your toes. Good, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, reach it back. Take your breath into mountain and now we're gonna fold forward, swan dive. Hand can come to the chair. Palms to the knees as you come up halfway. Exhale and fold. Let's reverse swan dive now, bringing the arms up. Exhale, reach it back. Breathe it back to mountain and back to your heart and pause. Okay, let's do the moon salute standing. So I'm gonna come to the back of my chair because if you're standing at the back of your chair, you can always keep one hand on the chair as you do the movements, if you'd like. Great. So breathe your arms up, one or both. Relax your shoulders, press your feet into the floor, and let's half moon to the right. Good, breathe it back to center and half moon to the left. Bring it back to center. So getting ready for the back bend, you can adjust your hand position just like you did in the seated pose. And you can also keep one hand on the chair. Reach it back. Bring it back to center. And now we're gonna forward fold. So I'm gonna place my hands on the back of the chair and step my feet back as if I were doing a downward facing dog. So just letting my head hang down. Breathing into the stretch. Good, and let's come back up. Half moon to the left. And half moon to the right. Bring it back and exhale back to your heart. Take a breath. Nicely done, everybody. So let's come to the um, left side of the chair. Bring your weight to your right leg, the leg closest to the chair, soften that knee. Begin to lift your left foot. A little bit higher, a little bit higher, wherever is comfortable for you. Make sure you don't lock that knee. And breathe. Ready for tree pose? Let's take that knee out to the side. Choose a position that works for your foot. I'm gonna keep my toes on the floor. And I'm gonna create my branches with both hands, but you can always keep one hand on the chair. You can also separate your arms. Breathe. Now here's a good pose to notice if you're working too hard. You want to find a sense of ease in your balance work. Where's the tension? Good. Bring your hands back. Bring one hand to the chair. We're gonna come into warrior pose now. So I'm gonna take that outside foot and step it behind me. Comfortable distance. Sink down into your hips. Good. Square those hips so they're facing forward and edge your arms. One or both. Coming into warrior.
Again, where are you holding on to tension? Just keep scanning your body and staying with your breath. Good, breathe in, exhale, lower the hands. Now I'm gonna take that left foot, step it out to the side, and then turn both feet so I'm facing the chair, hand on the hip to begin. So we're gonna move into our um, runner stretch. And then we're going to do uh, warrior three, which is a little bit more intense. I'm gonna move my chair away just a little bit. Good. Inhale, folding right at the hip crease. So placing your hands wherever is comfortable for you. Take a minute to pause and lengthen your spine, crown to tailbone. Good. If you wanna go a little further, please feel free. Hands can come to the floor or I'm gonna bring my hands behind me. That's a little bit more of a balance challenge. Neck is relaxed. Good, and come up. Maybe add a little back bend here. Good. And we'll move into warrior three. So let me just show you what we're gonna do and then we'll do it together. So with warrior three, the back leg extends. I wanna make sure I have enough room to do that without putting my foot in the face of my dog. <laughs> So I'm gonna begin pretty much the way I do for runner stretch. And then I'm gonna to begin to release that back leg. Good. Maybe it only comes up a little, that's fine. And as an extra challenge, I'm gonna release the opposite hand. Everybody ready? Okay. So. Hands at the hips to begin. Think about hinging right at the hip crease. Place your hands on the chair. Lengthen your spine and begin to lift that back leg. If you want, release the opposite arm. Neck is in a nice neutral position. Can you still breathe smoothly? So again, shifting your weight to the leg closest to the chair, let's bend that left knee. I'm gonna reach back and grab my foot and draw my heel towards the buttocks. Nice quad stretch here. Good, and let that go. So let's finish up on this side with the second version of the tree pose, which is leg on the chair. So the, the leg that's gonna be carrying my weight is my left leg this time. I'm gonna make sure the knee is soft and I'm gonna pick up the right foot and put it on the chair. Knee presses back. Add the branches. One or both arms, your choice. Again, remembering to go like 75 to 80% of how hard you usually work. Try easier rather than try harder. Good, inhale, exhale, lower the hands, lower the foot, take a breath. And let's do a downward facing dog before we go to the other side. So you can stand at the back of your chair. I'm gonna come with hands to the seat of the chair, walk my feet away, belly and chest hang down. Let's pedal the heels just to warm up those hamstrings a little more.
Good. Deep breath in. Walk yourself back. And take a breath. Let's go to the other side. So again, shifting weight to the leg closest to the chair, which is your left leg. Soften that knee and begin to pick up the right foot a little bit at a time. Notice if the knee is locking, keep it soft. Good, and let's move into tree pose from here. So the knee comes out to the side, the foot drops down, and we build the branches. Reaching for the sky, grounding through your feet. So your feet are the roots of your tree. Let them sink down into the floor. Great, inhale, exhale, lower the hands. Now we're gonna step that right foot back into warrior. So a nice comfortable step back, a little bit of bend in that forward knee, sink down through the hips, add one arm or both. And breathe. One more breath, great, inhale, lower. So the right foot's gonna come forward and out to the side. Nice, comfortable stance. Good, soften those knees. Let's turn both feet facing the chair. Remember, we're gonna be coming into runner stretch and then warrior three. So, hinging right at the hips, lengthening your spine. Hands to the seat of the chair, if that works, or all the way down to the floor, or even behind you. Press your feet into the floor. Good. Let's inhale. Bring it up. And adding that little back bend. Ready for warrior three on this side? Great. So again, hinging right at the hips, hand comes to the chair. So we're gonna be lifting that right leg. So comfortable, maybe it only comes up a little, maybe it comes up so it's level with the floor. That's fine. You can release the opposite arm. Try not to look up, you wanna protect your neck. Nice and soft. One more breath. And then let's release that. Good. Take a breath. And we'll do one more downward facing dog before we come seated. Reach back. And walk back towards the chair. Oh, we forgot the quad stretch on this side. So let's do that. So again, weight on the left leg. Begin to bend that right knee. Take a hold of the foot. So notice how I'm drawing my thighs close to each other. That's an important part. Puts the stretch right where you want it. Good, inhale and exhale, lower that foot and let's take a seat. So let's finish up with a nice seated twist. We'll start with the right arm, stretch it out. Place your palm on your left knee, left hand to your chair. 
lengthening on the in-breath, floating the shoulder back as you exhale. And there's always that option of crossing the one leg over the other. I'm taking my left leg over my right. Good, inhale, bring it back and uncross. Ready for the other side, left arm reaches out. Exhale, palm to the knee, right hand to the chair. Right leg can cross over the left if you like. Good, and let's inhale and release that. Come all the way around. Nicely done, everybody. Good, so let's just close our eyes. Focus on the breath. And focus on how things have shifted in our bodies, our minds, our energy. Letting go of any of those pesky negative self judgments that go on. You've had a perfect practice, however it showed up. Not breathing in any particular way, but just letting the breath flow. and sending that breath to any places where you notice a little extra tension holding on. See if the breath can help you release it. Breathing in energy. Breathing out stress and tension. Breathing in ease and peace. Breathing out anything you're hanging on to that no longer serves you. So letting your breath get a little bit deeper and bringing in some final stretches. Anything that feels right. Stretch up towards the ceiling. I keep hoping I'm going to get taller, but it hasn't happened, so I don't think it will. And then returning your hands to heart center. We'll close our practice with an OM. Deep breath. OM. OM. Shanti. Peace. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from fear and may all beings everywhere know peace. Namaste, Jai Bhagwan.